Oh. Young Webster needed some help, and it was my duty as a Christian to. Is John T. Parker actually taking on Mr. Oh. Cox here? Oh. 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 oh, the drugs coming off. Can he break the streak? <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, here we are. Okay. Should, should we read that? Yes. The, the first option is, please forgive me if my behaviour upsets you. Would you mind if I borrowed your Bible? Or, where I spend my time is no concern of yours, is it? By the way, I'd like to borrow your Bible, if I may. Now, call me silly, but I think the softly, softly approach will work here on the, the coquettish old lady. Simply on the basis of... I'm too much of a heathen, please help me be Christian. Bang on. She please forgive me if my behaviour upsets you. Would you mind if I borrowed your Bible? I hardly like to be without it. This Bible is the last reminder of my great aunt, a most God-fearing woman. <laughs> she beat aliens to death with it? <laughs> like, when we got like here, most, natives? Like, like most God-fearing women do. I know, there were natives here, so we beat them with Bibles and, you know, <laughs> and the, morals. eventually they learned. Or died. Okay, we're not allowed to talk to the lady, to the to the uh, niece. So we need to find a way to get this uh, off, get this thing off our... Um, also, there's very, what? very little you can tell from the okay, We don't have a lot of clues to go on, like, no. it has nothing to do with the Bible. Yes. The we Bible, need a Bible to, to The continue. Bible says a lot of things. It does say a lot of things. Goodbye, Mr. Parker. Wow, no help at all, bitch. Okay. Um, hmm. Alas, we could not guide the irresistible force. No. Well, perhaps we need to be a bit smart. We have to box a bit smarter, Paul. That's what we have to do. We have to be more strategic. So, let's <laughs> look around town. Oh, maybe this shop is still open. Maybe there's something in here. Hey. Well, it's the US, they sell guns here, so they probably sell Bibles here. They could do. Let's, let's ask them. I mean, they might have overlapped the market, is like horrendous. Well, as you can see, Paul, we just dropped in to say hello. That's very kind of you. I just received a magnificent brooch, imitation silver and gold. Very cheap, $2. I also have a pretty market at $1, wouldn't uh, it? How convenient. We're gonna bribe fucking Picot. Are you gonna do it? Here's open. <laughs> okay, I think we should take both. I'm sure like, one of them is like a cursed item that will kill us in the end, but fuck it. Oh, what over here? Uh, don't lock it. Don't... Thank you. Come back soon. Alright, that is playing it safe, I suppose. Yes. However, well. I've almost. Okay. Now. After all, we, we have we have a difficult choice. Mm. Do you offer gold? But will she throw away the importance of humility <laughs> at us? Mm. If we give her silver. We, what is what is holier? Difficult to tell. Yes. I mean, if we asked this a decade ago, naturally the gold plate of the throne would be holier. Yes, of course. Whereas these days, you know, the humility of only having silver finery. But in fairness, Paul, this is 1912. Gold. I'm just, um... Go play the thrones. I'm just, by the way, saving just in case she does actually knock yeah. us out. <laughs> okay, a brooch. She's an old woman. She's going to obviously. My respect with worthless, shiny bottles. Well. Bitch. Wow. Okay. Maybe the locket will work. <laughs> Double standards, love? It's almost like the one I lost last week. <laughs> Now I'm sure that that's not as bullshit as it looks. I'm sure, like in passing, she would have mentioned her locket gone missing or something. I uh, I'd say she did, cause like <sighs> fucking true that boy without us sins. <clears throat> George is like she is like if you ever watch a Savage Eye and how like David McSavage always yeah. represents his priests, it's just like tell me your sins, Parker. You're one big sinner machine. Oh, the guys that are like. Really into it. Yeah, it's like you tell your sin, son. Oh Christ! What are you doing hitting him with a cricket bat? Who's this? Don't even see that again, country boy. Oh God! Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's <laughs> creepy. Fuck. Really creepy. It's how they did things over there. Right. 
Where am I going? I'm going to the town the town hall. Where the clerks have taken over and they're gonna start doing battle with the rival actually, clerk gang. Y- you know what? Like look at them, they're all um, wearing the same shit. Actually, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Um It occurs to me that since the assembly of the clerk gang, mm. the police gang has nowhere to be seen. You know? They could they could very well be the um the security. You know, the old kind of private security that Ilsmith has. One of the few things that people don't really realize about Ilsmith is that they were the start of the private military companies that are that everyone is raging about now. Okay, <laughs> let's read the Bible. Okay, anyway, let's let's listen. Oh wow! Page three hundred three, Saint Paul's Epistles, chapter three, verse sixteen. Destruction and despair will cross their path. Okay, that's a good shout. Um, I'm sorry. Um, do we have any reason to look at these particular pages? No, these are just like arbitrary sections that Parker's looking through. Cool. Page 181, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verse 15. And Peter stood up among the assembled brethren, some five score and twenty. Okay. That doesn't need to be as much help. No, five score and twenty. Five twenty five two zero. Hundred messages. Yeah, okay. Page 345. The Apocalypse according to St. <coughs> John, chapter 15. Oh, here we go. Ah. And the number of the beast, beast is 666. Okay, so... It does put in 666. And the other one was, was it 520 or 420? Um, it was... 520, I think. There's a mirror? Uh, no, before that, in the middle one. Oh, yeah, that was Page 181. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1. So five score, five score and 20. Okay. Actually, isn't five score 100? It would be, yeah, so I miscounted. So, one, two, zero. Yeah. The mayor's office. Let's see. Let's see. <coughs> A few papers. Nothing very important. He's only the mayor, after all. Mm. He's only the mayor after all. <laughs> oh, he's, he's hardly the voice viceroy. <laughs> he's hardly the king of England. A lovely vista here on this on the wall. Now let's look out the window just to make sure our alibi is completely plausible. Oh no! Well, well if we look at the window, you'll just see Miss McCart knocking the shit out of those clerks. <laughs> <laughs> She's marrying him into the clerks to stop the war. <laughs> it's like. No, I can see her now. She's beating the air loving tar out of him now. <laughs> to drag back to the lair. Right, boy, you're going to marry my niece, and that's it. No, no, you're over to it. She just beats the shite out of him, mm. drags him back to his lair so his daughter can insert her eggs. <laughs> Pick up the eggs. They'll, well, hatch, yeah, they'll yeah. hatch into beautiful babies. What, have you, have you all heard about the Christians and what they're like? <laughs> no, no that's, new, that's a new one for me, I'm afraid. It's exactly as I thought. Okay. Okay, we can't really apply the Bible to the safe. Its armor safe is way too high. Quite true. Ah, here we are. I was trying to trigger it. Okay, so, so 666 for the, uh, you know... <laughs> yeah, we'll try 666 first. And if not, then... No. Oh... Yeah, it's okay. I'll just ro- rotate around. It's actually not that. I will say you do get contr- used to the. Con- he has a very heavy arm. <laughs> you do get used to the controls after a while. No, you're not. I do. Yeah. You see, most of it's more oriented for the keyboard, which is um, interesting for. Uh... This is one of those times where it doesn't tell us if we won or not. Yeah, this is exactly the same. Okay, it was obviously not that, so let's look at the... Uh, let's try 120. Yeah, let's try 120. As you move our, um, massive fucking arm in the way. I mean, everything else is darts around like nobody's business but the arms. Yes. No? No. Ah, okay, we had to pull our arm back before it worked in, so that's why it didn't trigger. Okay, so let's try 666 now. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. 
I never knew our own arm could be so unwieldy, but there you go. Say what you want about Arlington, but he he has a good um good taste in safes. Mm. Especially ones that are seemingly made out of bedrock. Yeah, that doesn't work. Alright. I would be personally angry if it did. Okay, let's um Let's consult the Bible, like that random passage in the Bible. I would like to see which passage it's actually from. Sorry, let's look at the Bible. Oh, sorry. I'm confusing the game here. Sergeant Bags, come quick! <laughs> A burglar! <laughs> okay. I was expecting that. We had three tries and then Three tries and then we're out, okay. Interesting. Follow me, Parker. I'm gonna take you into the alley and beat you to fucking death. Oh, fuck. He actually did. That's a dead that's that sequence. Ah, well. Oh god, when did we last save? Uh, not too far away. I think I was just. Yeah, right. Point. Yeah. Apply locket to crazy. <laughs> Applying locket to crazy may produce Bible. Trying to do it, or maybe it has to be like it's a programming book again, so you have to go out and in. All right, let's try this again. Shit, it's finicky. Very finicky. I love that. You have to use the brooch first, and then make her a hypocrite. Christ. <laughs> She, like, she is unlikable by design. <laughs> she is. <laughs> she is. She is very much that. Much like all old, all old women, I find. They they're just they've been on this planet so long now they're just jaded. They just don't don't want to be here anymore. I don't know. It varies. Some make apple pie. Hmm. And some want to. Some want to just. Capture men, beat them senseless, mm -hmm. try them back, and then just force, like physically force, their own children to just implant their eggs in them. In fairness, my grandmother was the same way. That's why I'm here. Grandparents, like, <laughs> fucking hell. Why did they insist on being a thing? Ugh. Right. Let's try to say I want. What well, the reason I want to look at the Bible was the actual verse. That guy there, three, four, five. Page three forty-five. The Apocalypse according to St. John, chapter 13, verse 8. Okay, so we have... And the num so 8, 13. 8, 13, or 3, 4, 5. That's the one I want. 3, oh, 3. St. Paul's Epistles, chapter 3. So the reason I want to look at that was, was 3, 4, 0. That's what I wanted. Because it, it's not necessarily about the beast being like 666, but it's the actual page. So, either way, this is just a... Keep in mind, this is like really all information. Hmm? Okay, we are going on the out of date ramblings of a wheelchair bound attic dweller <laughs> who's using ancient information to guess the modern combination of a safe using references to a book that contains, quite frankly, a lot of things. Well, in, would you not expect nothing less from Lovecraft? The whole whimsy of it all? Yes. No, that doesn't work. Very well. So. Uh, let's try a different tag then. Let's let's see if it's not the. Maybe it's not that that edition at all. Perhaps. Page three hundred three, Saint Paul's Epistles, chapter three, verse sixteen. Destruction and despair will cross their path. I'm gonna try Trio Tree. Say again. I'm gonna try Trio Tree. I have, a, I, have a, I have a I have a hunch on this one. I feel like the, the number of the beast one was too obvious. Exactly and besides, there's nothing like, like, like there's nothing love crafting about like 666, you know, it's about Satan, not about mythical creatures. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try 303. And then if that doesn't work, I'll try 316. Cool. I like that you're doing this in sequential order to make the number of rotations minimal. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Okay. Hmm. 
I'm just glad Parker's learning. Yes. Just like, no, it doesn't work. And not, it works, so I'm not going to say it works. This is true. Um, very well. So if that's not going to work, let us try 316. There's a handle hidden in this painting. This is probably going to be our last go on it before we get it caught as that. a and persecuted as a thief. So, listen. To be fair, the second we went up here, the guy called for the police. Yes, he did. Rather than getting his boys to sort this out, and then like seventeen clerks just flood the room. They just the bags. No. Come quick. Look, they are probably busy filing the paperwork necessary to call the police. Yeah. No, that's fair. Yeah. I mean, they have to. They are clerks. They still have to do things right. Okay, so that you, see, you see, the natives, like the anti-authoritarians, are the recreational arsonists, <laughs> and what the clerks are, are the grief builders. They will schedule the bypass roads to go through your house. <laughs> they are grief builders. Grief builders. Hmm. Oh, who would win in a fight between the recreational arsonists and the grief builders? Uh, depends on the budget of the grief builders. Because the archivists might just burn all down. Yes. But if it's made of non flammable materials, then the grief builders win. So it's just a matter of budgeting. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's why they're still working in the mayor's office to pay their way. Oh god, yeah, like. I'm just. Some books and a few files have no interest. It seems that the mayor works about as hard as his staff. Haha, <laughs> backhanded compliment. Okay. You can tell because the date of this l most recent document is two weeks ago. <laughs> Whereas, if we look at the bin that, judging from the log, was emptied 20 minutes ago, mm. was just overflowing with spent wank tissues. <laughs> Page 345. The Apocalypse According to St. John, Chapter 13. Okay, I'm gonna try. Next thing I wanna try is the three, four, five, and uh, one, three, eight. There's a handle hidden in this painting. God, Dad, Parker. It's exact. Stop being a pussy and grab Spider-Man powers. <laughs> Are you even trying to insinuate that like the great grandchild of John T. Parker would be Peter Parker? Because that's the case, that'll be a hell of a, uh, a crossover. I was the. Oh, it worked! 345! So it was the number of the beast being 666. That was the page number? Yeah. It was, a, yeah, it was the, uh, the page of the Bible. I'm surprised by that, because there wasn't. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> Dickheads! Okay. There's a hand. It's exact. Ah, here, you're gonna have to have me unlock it again. Alright, fair enough. Very well. And diary. We have a diary. What's it got? Just a diary. Make sure there's nothing else in here. You see, I have to make sure. I have to always double check that there is a. So we have a cigar case. Nothing else. And I'm gonna save here. Uh, different. Uh, I would say different save. Uh, well, it's too late. Because this is a point where we might be on a timer. We could be. So I would, in these kind of situations, I'd say different say, but well, hi, yeah. however. Let's see the diary. Oh, we can read it. We're, got, we're the mayor now, Paul. Look at us. Great. Now I'm responsible for the shithole. <laughs> Look, he's, he's even trying to, he even turned the light down low. My name's Jonas. Jonas Hamilton. And here's my selfies. I made my fortune. He actually oh, wrote that down. That's Jonas. Jonas Hamilton. The Boston businessman. Otherwise known as the Klex. At that time, I became interested in the occult. I read only the most accursed books. And I was uploading pictures to my Instagram. He initiated me into the ancient practices. At last. I was in contact with those from the outside. See, he said he only read the most cursed books. Mm. So that's like the Necronomicon, Necronomicon and the Bible. And the Da Vinci Code. Christ. <laughs> my body no, listen, this is an by the way. My hands were the last palm. But the ancients wanted more. Their much more. They even took my moustache. I gave in. Oh. 
My own wife, Lavina, was the bargain, you see. I screamed out the invocation, and he came. Don't by the face, that's not much of a loss. Oh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> was delighted with that. Hey. The sea would take all I cherished, but that was of no importance. The pitiless god Dagon wanted that union. That was the price of my immortality. And there we go. Two sons were born of that wondrous night, Wilbur and Curtis. The second of them betrayed and abandoned me, but the first followed in my footsteps. So it, this guy was really into hentai. It seems that way. So as you can see, our our chappy there is on the right, and Hood and Cloaky is one on the left. I think he's he's Wilbur. He has yeah. my gift. He can beg to the stone. They all think I'm dead. Only he who reaches that place where water, earth, and sky come together can find my burial place. Hmm. Apparently, immortality was not as correct to me. Well, if you're going to look like oh, something, somebody, I can't see it. in 1834, all because of that accursed Boliskin. But gods are immortal, and time means nothing to me. In case you forgot Bolasco is the chap from the start. I went mad. Without the statuettes which I guard and the secret incantation. In 1910, the comet will come again and the prophecy will come true. I will say Parker seems very unfazed about this. Only I know secret annotation, and now so do you. <laughs> I wrote it down for posterity, because I'm an idiot. Now, the great ancients will reign. I will swim beside my Lavina in the abyss, and we shall sing the praises of he who cannot be named. With difficulty. <laughs> They're the unpronounceables. 